V revealed his one regret. Jungkook addresses fans' inappropriate comments. A soldier talked about J-Hope. Did V actually not write the songs from his own album? V's interest in fans and the thing Jungkook used to hate about himself. BTS's V has finally embarked on his solo journey, marking his comeback to the television variety scene with appearances on the show Suchita, hosted by fellow BTS member Suga and IOS music show IOS Paulette. In the episode featuring V on IOS Paulette, the duo demonstrated a deep bond cultivated through a mutual appreciation and passion for music. IO didn't hold back in sharing her impressions of this album, expressing that it was completely unforeseen from her viewpoint. She mentioned that the album seemed like a sincere reflection of his authentic self, a sentiment that V echoed. V conceded that he remained true to his distinctive style during the creation of this solo project, viewing it as a pivotal moment in his career. He believed that committing fully to this album was a necessary step to reach his desired milestone. When queried about his level of contentment with the project, V openly stated he was 90% pleased with the outcome. Ayo remarked that achieving a 90% satisfaction level was quite substantial, but was curious to understand the factors contributing to the remaining 10%. In a lighter vein, V shared that he missed incorporating grand dance sequences in his solo project. Further adding a touch of humor, he considered potentially lighting up the dance stage in upcoming releases. Jungkook addresses fans' inappropriate comments. In a recent conversation, Jungkook discussed his bond with armies. As he prepares to feature prominently on the upcoming day's UK's Autumn 2023 cover, marking a historic first for any K pop artist, a snippet from his interview was disclosed. In the segment, Jungkook touched upon diverse subjects, including his ongoing report with the armies. It's well known that Jungkook harbors deep fondness for his fans, dedicating significant time to engage with them on various platforms and acknowledging them during milestone moments. His commitment is even displayed through a tattoo bearing the fandom's name. However, recent instances of privacy invasion have raised concerns within the BTS community with fears that Jungkook might grow distant. Nevertheless, Jungkook expressed a rather different stance on his connection with the fans during the interview. He indicated that the unsolicited advice or concerns coming from fans don't bother him, acknowledging that his gestures stem from a profound interest in his well-being. According to him, the relationship he maintains with his fans is straightforward and grounded in mutual honesty, which enables him to set boundaries assertively when necessary. Jungkook emphasized that the discourse with his fans is open-ended, where both parties can express themselves freely. Jungkook firmly stated that the decision to hit or overlook fans' remarks ultimately rests with him, asserting his autonomy in choosing how to respond to certain comments. This candid revelation has been lauded by armies who admire Jungkook's balanced approach to nurturing the artist-fan relationship. A soldier talked about J-Hope. Since enlisting in April 2022, Jiop has ascended to the role of assistant drill instructor at the recruit training center following a successful evaluation. Recently, a narrative from a fellow soldier has been making rounds on social media, narrating an unexpected encounter with J-Hope. The soldier recounted how, despite being in the same unit, he usually does not cross paths with J-Hope due to their different work locations. However, a recent test brought him to J-Hope's area. During a meal break, he observed J-Hope instructing the new recruits. Mistaken for an officer, Due to his red key insignia, he received a salute from J-Hope, which accepted with some amusement. Further, the soldier admitted that he didn't initially recognize J-Hope until a junior pointed it out. Once aware, he couldn't help but notice J-Hope's impressive complexion and how well the uniform suited him, attributing it to his idol status. Did V actually not write the songs from his own album? The debut of Slow Dancing surpassed expectations, breaking first day and first week sales records for a solo artist even amidst an unexpected turn of events. Despite the roaring success, a certain aspect of the album has sparked debates about the definition of authentic artistry within the music industry. An analysis of the album's credits revealed that V did not contribute as a producer, lyricist or songwriter, which marked a departure from BTS's usual practice of being significantly involved in the creation of their albums a fact that has historically been a point of pride for armies. Online discussions revealed mixed reactions to this. A certain individual conveyed their discontent online, stating that music often feels more authentic when the artist has a hand in his creation. This sentiment was echoed by others who were surprised, not due to the absence of his contributions, but because he had hinted at writing songs before. Contrary, several people emphasized that V had participated in the album's creation in different capacities. Notably, he collaborated with the Door CEO, Min Hee Jin, because he admired her previous work and had a clear vision for his album. Moreover, the debate expanded to explore the notion that an artist could embody authenticity through passionate performances of songs that resonate with them, regardless of the songwriter's identity. In an interview with Rolling Stone, V addressed his limited credits on the album, indicating his genuine involvement 
and stating that the album showcases various musical styles that represent him, leaving room for showcasing his written songs in future projects. This statement was perceived as further admiration for his genuine engagement with the project. This interest in his fans. In the recent interaction with Ayu on her show Ayu's Palette, we disclosed that his deep connection with armies is a significant reason behind his active engagement on social media platforms such as Instagram Stories, Live and WeWords. During the chat, he shared that his inquisitiveness about the armies tends to spike when he finds himself with nothing to do. His curiosity leads him to use social media platforms to catch up on the happenings in the lives of armies. He implied that his routine has somewhat become a comforting activity to him, allowing him to immerse himself quietly in the stories and updates shared by the fans. Furthermore, we indicated that the habitual reading of posts from armies has subtly shaped his personality and influenced his approach to social media. He mentioned that after consistently reading the daily updates and stories shared by the fans, he finds himself naturally sharing snippets from his own day on social platforms, mirroring the actions of the armies. This, he noted, has become a spontaneous activity for him over time. What Jungkook used to hate about himself During a recent candid conversation with this, Jungkook bared the internal battles and hurdles he has faced throughout his journey. The break instigated by the global pandemic has manifested as a blessing and a curse for many. For BTS, it meant putting a hold on their eagerly awaited 2020 Map of the Soul tour, a stark contrast to the consecutive engagements they had been engrossed in since their onset. Facing an unprecedented scenario with extensive stays in numerous cities and a planned hiatus in 2022, the group venture into unknown territory, availing them a golden opportunity for self-reflection. During this period, Jungkook, who started touring in 2014, realized that the hiatus was an opportunity to introspect deeper aspects of his personality that he had battled with for a long time. One particular facet was his self-acknowledged laziness, a trait he perceived as a hindrance to his goals and a test to his assertive nature. He expressed regret for previously resenting this characteristic within himself. Moreover, he grappled with self-esteem issues, a phenomenon prevalent in the contemporary pressure-driven society. The crucial part of his narrative lies not in pinpointing this unknowledge weakness, but in the manner Jungkook chose to approach it. Instead of persistently chastising himself or aiming to entirely eliminate this part of himself, he chose a path of acceptance and empathy. This shift in viewpoint allowed Jungkook to perceive himself differently, accentuating the positive aspects within himself and learning to welcome and cherish his authentic self. He emphasized that rather than regret past lapses and reprimanding himself, he has decided to acknowledge his true nature and concentrate on his achievable tasks. In a society that frequently glorifies perpetual efforts and vilifies rest, Jungkook's admission and ensuing insights act as a ray of hope. His advice embodies the acceptance of individual pace, encouraging people to heed their inner voices and afford themselves the grace of taking breaks. This could even mean indulging in a day of complete rest or enjoying a television series marathon without guilt. Jungkook's enlightening remarks during today's discussion underscore the crucial role of self-appreciation and empathy. It brings to the fore the concept that personal development is not solely about unceasing efforts but also encompasses the acknowledgement, acceptance and affection towards oneself, including perceived imperfections.